In today's video, we're checking out bizarre things that you might never have even seen or heard about. From a car that can see ghosts to flowers with monkeys for a face. UFOs seen near space station. The International Space Station has captured footage that many are convinced is definitive proof of alien existence. The video features European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Christopher Eddy, who was demonstrating how the station's windows are opened. As the shutter door opens up, several white objects can be seen floating around and zooming away in space. This certainly wasn't the first time that an unidentified object was captured on Space Agency equipment. A group of lights looking like a fleet of spacecraft was also seen moving together in a type of formation. Experts believe that these are ice particles, lens reflections, or even space junk fragments. NASA's explanation? Squid hunting boats. These fishing vessels are fixed with hundreds of high-powered bulbs which are meant to attract flying squid. However, some believe that this is a cover-up by space agencies. The astronauts are probably in on it as well. A message from the past. More than 200 years ago, someone wrote on a rock face located by a coastal town in the Brittany region of France. It was discovered in 1979 and for 40 years, the inscription could not be deciphered. The community's historians and linguists were stumped, but this gave them the idea to outsource the work to the public. The local government held a competition for the best translation, with the winner getting 2,000 euros. Over 600 people expressed interest, but only 61 completed translations were submitted from all around the world. After careful deliberation, two winners were picked to split the prize. They used different wordings, but both told the same tragic tale of a soldier that died while at sea. Both winners used the Breton language to translate the text. Breton is a Celtic language that came to Brittany from Britain during the Middle Ages. For centuries, it was the most spoken language in the region. However, the French central government has discouraged its use for many years, also removing it altogether from the country's education system. Today, only about 200,000 people speak Breton and it's been listed by UNESCO as an endangered language. So, getting two speakers to successfully translate the rock was a stroke of good luck. Tesla sees dead people. Tesla's vehicles contain some of the most cutting-edge technology, but is the tech too powerful and sensitive that it can sense ghosts? A TikTok user's video of his car's ghost-detecting capability went viral on the platform, racking up thousands of views. The clip starts with Edgar Azornia driving his Tesla through a deserted graveyard. All of a sudden, the monitor displays a walking pedestrian on the right side of the car, despite the video clearly showing only cemetery plots and tombstones. Some car experts chimed in that the Tesla's pedestrian warning tool could be misreporting tall tombstones or statues as pedestrians, or that his sensors had outright malfunctioned. While it is plausible that it is merely a glitch in the car's safety features, it's still kind of weird to buy a car that could possibly see dead people. Star Jellies Since the 14th century, people have been finding strange white jelly-like globs on the ground or the tops of tree branches. There has been no clear indication of their origin, leaving our early ancestors to blame the heavens above. Hence the name Star Jelly. While we still don't know for sure where they're from, they probably come from Earth. Likely, theories of what these include are fungus, algae, and animal semen. Conspiracy theories, on the other hand, include biological weapons, alien excretions, and a government conspiracy to poison us all. Interestingly enough, scientists carried out tests on samples found in the US, but there was no DNA present in the material, ruling out the most plausible theories. Seriously, just what are these things? Perfectly Preserved Baby Mammoth Canadian miners in the Yukon Territories had no idea that the frozen block that stopped their bulldozer was worth more than the gold they were looking for. Inside the ice was a baby woolly mammoth, completely intact. The baby mammoth had probably fallen deep in some mud as an infant, before being stuck in the Canadian permafrost for 35,000 years. Nature had mummified it almost perfectly. Also still completely intact were its hide, toenails, hair, trunk, and even its intestines, which were later found to contain its last meal of grass. It's only the second most complete specimen ever discovered, next only to Siberia's mammoth found in 2007. This amazing animal was almost lost to a storm that was brewing shortly after its discovery. It took a united effort between the Yukon government and the Trondek Lich and First Nations people to properly retrieve the infant for analysis and cold storage. Elders of the First Nations group blessed the animal in an emotional ceremony attended by their people, miners, scientists, and government representatives. Baby Mammoth was identified as a one-month-old female and was named Nunchoga, which meant big baby animal in their language. It's amazing how this baby woolly mammoth is repairing the rip between the Trondek Wetchen and Yukon's government and the scientific community. Chinese River Monster 
This grainy video shows a mysterious serpent-like creature swimming in the Yangst River. It went viral on Chinese social media platforms almost instantly, with many netizens calling it China's answer to Scotland's Loch Ness Monster. The creature became known as the Three Gorges Water Monster, named after a dam located close to where the creature was spotted. Eyewitness reports described it to be at least 10 feet long and as thick as an adult human thigh, which on average, I think, is pretty thick. It looked quite powerful, slicing through the strong river currents with relative ease. Some experts claim that the creature is nothing more than a Burmese python, which is about the same size and also happens to be an excellent swimmer. However, others believe that it was born of pollution, or is indeed Nessie's relative. It even had a large body underneath. But I think the bigger mystery remains. Why are photos and videos of these legendary monsters always so dang blurry? Strange Entity Captured by CCTV In Mexico, a strange entity descending from the sky was captured on tape. The owner of the footage claims that he saw the being with his own eyes when it happened, and you can see him walk into frame at the end of the clip. The video starts with an odd metallic shape slowly approaching the ground. It continues to move after it lands, hovering a few inches off the pavement. A close-up reveals a surface that looks to me like liquid metal. It appears to be morphing slightly, like some kind of techno-organism from sci-fi movies. And if that weren't weird enough, the streetlights go haywire as it passes through. Another piece of footage also in Mexico shows a similar entity being barred at by three dogs as it hovers past. Some people think that this entity is merely a silver balloon that's partially deflated, but the blurry video in both sightings makes it hard for us to know for sure. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Sentient alien parasites don't exist, or do they? Real Life Venom Symbiote This photo looks like it jumps straight out of the pages of a Marvel comic. Black stuff looks like an alien parasite taking over a human host right before the part where they wreak havoc together all while Eminem is blasting in the background. Before you get too excited, no, Venom is not real. Because what you're seeing here is just a prop from a Danish post-apocalyptic TV series. What about the symbiote? This video posted on Twitter went viral because it looked exactly like the alien parasite from the comic books. The shapeless black sludge is seen chilling on a rock, squirming about in its own space. It hacks the creature with a knife, but it seems to shrug it off and reshape itself moments later. Well, this alien-like creature is called the bootlace worm, and it looks like a damp, goopy mess because they can grow really, really long. Adding to its sludgy appearance is its mucus, which is highly toxic. I guess this dude's the real venom here because mere contact with small animals like roaches and crabs is enough to kill them instantly. While the toxin is not fatal when touched by humans, ingesting it is another story. It's not granting you any superpowers, so it's best to leave it alone. Monkey Orchids One look at them and you can instantly tell why these orchids are named the way that they are. This species has over a hundred different varieties, and all of them look like smiling monkeys. Apart from its comical looks, the orchid is also popular for giving off a sweet orange fragrance when in full bloom. Don't run out and grow your own just yet, though. The monkey orchid is one of the rarest orchid species in the world. They're challenging to grow and thrive in very specific climates. The best place to grow these is in the cloud forests of Central and South America, located at high elevations of 6,500 feet above sea level. You're gonna have to hike quite a bit to see these unique plants in their natural environment. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Yonaguni Monument We're talking about underwater cities, it's obvious that the lost city of Atlantis immediately springs to mind. But the lack of evidence makes the possibility of underwater cities a mere myth. Until 1987, that is, when a diver made a huge find off the coast of Yunaguni Island in Japan. Just 25 meters from the surface lies an architectural complex that looks like an Incan pyramid with its flat terraces and huge steps. The discovery of this real Atlantis gained a lot of attention from both the public and the scientific community. But despite countless studies conducted in the area during the past couple of decades, the true origin of the structure remains a mystery. While many believe that this truly is a sunken man-made city, some others think that these are merely natural formations. But in addition to the main structure, there are roads, staircases, columns, and even a rock shaped like a sea turtle, architectural elements made by a human. There is one thing that researchers agree on, that the monument is at least 10,000 years old. This makes this pyramid much older than the Great Pyramids of Giza. Funny how it lay undiscovered for millennia when it was so close to civilization this entire time. See you all next time!